members of the Justine Dream Team. Today I'm going to be showing you three DIYs for horse related room decor. I'm not claiming to have made any of these DIYs. I've seen them on the internet. I haven't seen how to do them. I've just seen pictures of them. So I'm basically kind of winging it. And if it's in the video and turns out good, that means it works. And if not, and if it goes to flop, I will tell you. Some of these do require adult help, but without further ado, let's get into it. Okay, I'm gonna have a budget of like $30, so we'll see how that works. Because I can never make budget. And that's not even for all the stuff I need, so uh, I hope this isn't too expensive. The first DIY are these awesome horse hooks. Okay, so first things first, we are going to be spray painting some briars. Now I know what you're thinking. Why would you do that? It's for the craft. I don't use my briars anymore, and these are actually repurposing them rather than just throwing them away or donating them. So bear with me if you are a briar enthusiast. Please don't come attack me. If this hurts for you to see, fast forward. And I'm just gonna be using regular spray paint. It's really good if you get the one that says it bonds to plastic because they're plastic. Anyways, let's get spray painting. Okay, so I'm awful with spray paint, so let's just hope this goes good. There's no turning back now. Oh, so majestic. Oh, my tripod's really spray painted now. Okay, um, definitely sprayed that one too close. Yeah, that looks awful. There we go. Okay, this is a probably a really bad idea, but like, yep, that's a bad idea. <laughs> Don't do that, Never mind. Okay, <laughs> ruining it more. While these are drying, let's go paint our board. Why is it clear? And this is the moment Justine knew. She messed up. Gloss gel. Really? Okay, take two. So this will be the backboard to our hooks. And you can use any colors you like on the horses and on the board. I just personally chose white and pink. All you need to do is give this a few layers of paint. Mine only needed two. Round two. I'm going to go ahead and flip them over for this. So that side can allow just a little bit more time to dry before I come back for the second coat. And then once they are all painted and dry, have an adult saw them in half by whatever means possible. Okay, so you didn't see this, but off camera I took a block of styrofoam cut it and just shaped them into the inside of what the horse is. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna mark where I want my horses. I'm gonna take a nail and put it in the center of that mark and just hammer it in a little bit. So you want the nail to be shorter than your styrofoam. So then what I like to do is just kind of fill up around it just a little bit. You don't wanna make it too wide. You can use clay or anything else, just something that's gonna be strong just kind of giving it a bigger base. Now, of course, caulk won't dry completely solid. It'll be a little bit squishy. So if you do have a really strong clay, then that might be your best bet. So I'm gonna do that to each one. Once they're all dry, you're going to poke a hole in the middle of your styrofoam so your nail can fit. And you want it to be a little bit bigger than your nail so you can fill it up about one third with caulk and then add glue to the edges, slip it over the nail, and press down firmly. Then add some vertical lines of glue to the styrofoam and on the top, and then top it off with some more caulk. Then just slip your horse right on and press down. Repeat that with each horse, wait overnight for it to dry, and then you're done. The next DIY are these super cute horse jars. You're gonna need any type of toy horse, and then jars, 
paint of your choice, strong glue, paintbrush, and a small paintbrush, which is optional but helpful. Squirt the glue, and then just start painting away. And then realize you forgot a step and tragically start wiping away that paint. And then after you fail at that, go get some water. So what you're supposed to do is dip your brush in paint and then lightly dip it in the water and then start painting. This will make it less thick so you can do even layers and not have brush strokes. My horses required two layers of paint, but yours may require more or less. Just eyeball them to see how many they need. Now this step is optional, but it's recommended. Once they dry, cover them with some kind of seal or gloss, and then realize you need your water. So dip it in the paint, dip it in the water, and then paint your horse. When are you gonna learn, Justine? Now that they are all dry, you're gonna add them to your jars with your glue. Glue the spots that will be touching the dry lid. Repeat this with each horse, wait for them to dry overnight, and then you're done. You can fill them with anything imaginable, but of course, I chose to fill them with my Foxy Kitchen horse treats. A link in description, pull the plug. The next project is this super cool horse string art. You'll need a reasonably thick board, yarn, and nails that are a bit longer than your board width. Start drawing on your horse head, or you can trace it from a piece of paper depending on the size of your board and then have an adult start hammering in nails an inch and a half apart from each other along the line. Once all of the nails are put into place, I take my string and tie a few random knots and then start going around the nails. Each time I go around a nail, I circle it once and then continue. There's really no rhyme or reason to this and don't think you need to cut your string and tie a knot around each nail. During this whole project, you'll only tie two knots, one at the start and one at the beginning. It's all held together by you circling around the nails. And then once I'm done with the middle, I just like to loop around the outside of the nails so it makes a clear line. And then you tie a last knot and you're finished. So those are the DIYs. I hope you enjoyed. Some of them definitely were a bit difficult, but nevertheless, I am super happy with how they turned out. And if you do them yourself, please send me a picture on Instagram. This is my Instagram, the link in the description, plug a plug, because I'd love to see how y'all's turn out. So, without further ado, thank you for watching, drooling me next time, go out there and dream, believe, achieve, bye! Goodbye! <laughs>